Oh! Wait. 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 No way. Wait. What's good? It's your boy Sheen. What? And we are jumping into a movie today. Um, movie was recommended by you check for me. Oh. I mean Cole. No Bennett, man. Appreciate you. I mean recommended hereditary. Me and Swiss looked this up the other day. This was ranked. You know, people do their rankings. Somebody ranked this like the second scariest movie they ever watched, man. So we can't wait to get right into it. Don't know too much about it other than it's a horror film. Um, you know, I know a lot of people within the Patreon. They're really, uh, they're really excited for us to watch this. So make sure you guys head over to the Patreon and check the Patreon out. There's tons of content over there, exclusives that aren't coming to YouTube. The reactions are uncut. So if you want all those perks and some more, make sure you click that link in the description to the Patreon and you head over there and you sub up. We will also drop a link to our merch shop. So if you want to grab some merch, look so fresh and so clean, while you watch these reactions and you're entertained, make sure you click that DKND, that shop link that'll be in the description. And we'll also drop our link to our Discord for you guys to chat it up in there about this movie or anything else we watched so far. So without further ado, let's jump into Hereditary. Let's get it. Blind Manor? That's what I was about to say. Is that a replica of a crib? The laundry basket on that door. Wake up. Do you know if your sister slept in her room last night? Well, cat Peter, let's go. So I guess that was showing that is a replica of a crib. Oh, Charlie, for God's sake. Come on. It was freezing last night. That's how you get pneumonia. That's okay. Okay, come on, let's go. Text we saw in the beginning. My mother was a very secretive and private woman. She had private rituals, private friends, private anxieties. But when her life was unpolluted, she could be the sweetest, warmest, most loving person in the world. Good to see that goes on. Yeah. And if she ever was mistaken, that was your opinion, and you were Wrong. That shit sounded like it had nuts in it. The way she was chewing that joint had them crunches in there. Maybe because she ain't got no fronts though. With some of her fronts. <laughs> so, like, why would it sound like that then? Controller. <laughs> she had them fronts. Yeah. Hello, Maxie. Good dog. Shoes off, everybody. Charlie? Rexy, Charlie, Annie. I ain't hear what the dad name was yet. And the uh, brother. He did say the brother's name. The brother's name is Peter. What was that shit she put on her lip, though? No cat. Should I be sadder? Or did she have some on her lip that she needed to take? Nah, she had a little bottle on her hand. Oh, Annie makes those. This shit's looking mad real. Yeah, between this and the, uh, the preschool. So what's our deadline now? Seven months? Six and a half. Are you, uh, are you feeling okay about everything? Yeah, fine. Okay, I get it. Steve, that ain't got her. Steve. That's Grandma? Grandma. You know you were her favorite, right? She wanted me to be a boy. Who's gonna take care of me? Dad will take care of you. I'm Peter. I feel like she's smart. A lot of kids when they said that. Yeah. You know, when you were born. You feel like you wanted to cry today? You think that might feel like a relief? It's gonna be something boring later. So Tony, come on. She got ghosts up on her little wall. I'm hanging out. Oh, oh, what the what fuck? The fuck, G? Turn the light back on. No, I'm leaving the lights on for the rest of the night, G. She went through her shit. She said she was having to have spiritual shit. Okay. Rituals, whatever she was into. What the fuck? Somebody standing over the bed. That's when she had a baby. But yeah. still, what the fuck? Well, remember what she said? She was like, I couldn't, even when you were a baby, I couldn't feed you. 
because your grandmother wanted to feed you. I just scared myself in the workshop. With what? You know, music in the back. Are you done? Almost. So maybe we finish the toy after the quiz. Oh. oh a bird. What is Heracles' flaw? Arrogance. Because he literally refuses to look at all the signs that are being literally handed to him the entire play. Boy, Peter got a crush. <laughs> like, huh? Conditional, meaning Heracles never had any choice, right? Care to weigh in, Peter? About which part? I He's think done. it's more tragic because if it's all just inevitable, then that means that the characters had no hope. Why oh, she look at my boy like that? Cause nigga, pay attention. I got, I got faith in you, my boy. No. Oh! No. That's a chocolate bar again. It's the grandma. What's not? I think that lady was at the wedding. I said the wedding, the funeral. I think that's the lady that touched the lip. She gotta go read that book, the spiritual shit. Something in there. Damn, she really worked. She detailed that. Steady hand. Did you go up to my mom's room? No. The door was open. He looked at her right away when she said that. Oh boy, Steve don't play. Sorry, I know it's irrational. No problem. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> hey, Dad, it's a cemetery. About what? Let me see. Hello? Yes? Your body's gone? That's the only thing I can think of. What does that mean? Desecrated. But it's only been a week. Yes, okay, yes. I, I understand, yes. Uh, why don't I call you back? Yes, goodbye. Where was it? Shit like that, I feel him though, because you know, hard situation. You don't want to tell your wife. Yeah, bro, it's only been a week. Yeah, it's only been a week too. Like, at a meeting. Yeah. Anyone, if it's your first or second time with us, the floor is open. Would you like to? Maybe not. Everybody looking at it, the last person. My mom died a week ago. My mom was old, and she wasn't altogether there at the end and she didn't have an easy life she had did which became extreme at the end and dementia mm, what's that my older brother had schizophrenia and Damn. when he was 16 he hanged himself in my mother's bedroom and of course his suicide no blamed her accusing her of putting people inside him the ritual she was talking about i just don't want to put any more stress on my family i just sometimes feel like it's all ruined and then i realize i am to blame i am blamed what do you think you feel blamed for? I don't know. But Peter. And so she lost her dad when she was. But then I, what I like that she said, though, is that that was her mom's life. Because, like, it's easy for you to be like, damn, this was happening to me. But, like, she also acknowledges, like, that was happening to her mom as well. Yeah. What do you think? smoking that smoke in the crib. that desire. And I noticed she wasn't wearing that crush no more. Like, she just wore it when she went to the funeral. That bring your dick. Outside the crib. Oh, she cut young boy neck off, though. That's crazy. Got the super glue? And also notice in the beginning she was clicking. She like she just did it again. Mm -hmm. The fuck is that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What the fuck was that light? Her grandma look man. She also it's said crazy. she put people in her brother. I guess the accent about those the projects. Project that she's working on. No, was well, somebody else. Uh, yeah, could have been the plug. My man ain't play. Uh, ain't so paid the plug. She must be making the uh, the place, the gallery that just emailed her. Mm -hmm. Do you think I could maybe borrow one of the cars today? Why? Where are you going? Oh, just like a school barbecue thing. Hang out. No drinking? We're not even old enough to get drinks if we wanted to. Just know what I asked. You gonna take your sister? Does she wanna go? Uh, have you asked her? Charlie? She got birds up there. Yo, 
that lady, I knew it. Turn around, Charlie. You're angry with me now? You're going to this party with your brother. What party? Some school hangout with other kids. Now this really needs no drinking. Yeah, I really wasn't going to. Damn, he mad he you should have just sold her. Yeah. She sat in the back seat though. Yo, sis, come sit in the front with me, G. I feel like she's divided from everybody. Yeah. It might be because the fucking That's grandma. the crest. That was the, the necklace. Yeah, the necklace. Anyway. No, it's no young boys there. Yeah, why wouldn't he just be like, yeah, mommy might be drinking. Like, I can't bring Charlie. Nuts. I know she don't like everything. Why all like ghost movies be having shit like this in their crib? Well, there's only two things we watch with this. She opening portals and shit in her crib. Whoa, hi. Oh, hi. How's the party? Why, you want to know if you should come? What do you think? Hey, do you happen to smoke at all? I have really good weed. Let me take a hit. You have to tell Charlie to chill there. Oh, shit, look. They're giving out chocolate cake. Not to everyone. Yes, to everyone. It's a party. I don't know anyone. Nobody does. Just walk over and stand there and they'll give you a piece. That shit got nuts in it, G. Oh, my God. She about to hey check. Guys. Peter has weed. All right. She fucking that joint up, too. Is her face getting red? Huh? Is her face breaking out? Nah, it's just a cake on her shit. That was your sister downstairs? Yeah, Charlie. Is your sister hot? Hey, bro, let me smack this shit out of you, man. I actually saw her drawing me last week. Do you hear her breathing? What a bro, the new DJ here. Hey, Charlie. <coughs> What's up? Are you okay? It's hard to breathe. What do you mean? I think my throat's getting bigger. Oh my gosh. Not big bro, so we out of here. Fuck, you gotta drive the whole way to the crib. He better smell like weed too. He's cooked. Mm -hmm. He better smell like weed too. I mean, they know, obviously, no, he smoked. He smoked in the crib. No, he, no, he, no, he blowing it out the, out the Bro, window. Bro, don't matter. That shit still funked the crib up. Like, ah, <laughs> he's my man. Come for a real life smoker, bro. That shit funked the crib up. But they live out in the middle. Of Me too. High beams bro. on. This is done. Be careful with the speed, man. Oh no. It's okay, Charlie. We're almost to the hospital, okay? He gonna hit some. Fuck, I gotta speed. No. Oh my god. Charlie! No! Oh! Wait. Wait. No way. Wait. And that was the telephone pole. That's cat. He's scared to turn around. Just keep driving. You gotta turn around. Nigga, turn around for what? You okay? Oh my god, I couldn't imagine. It's the crib, right? Yeah. I had to drove five miles back to the crib. Five miles per hour. She hit that same telephone pole. Like, bruh. I can't even blame you. It's not like he was doing nothing wrong. That's what it says. You can sit in the room with me, man. Just don't, just don't tell mom toting that tote. So my mom's smoking that za. Didn't even take out the car. You didn't even take... Boy. Like, if you did something like that, you wouldn't pick your sister up and bring her in the crib? With no head? You know what I'm saying? Nah, they just lost their grandma, too. There's no way she's dead. She wants to see her. Oh my God. Nah, she really crying. I just need to die. Ah! Damn. Oh, 
Damn. Now that shit hit though right there, bro. Damn. He feel like it's his fault, bro. Damn. Should he head in the middle of the street with the ants on it? That's fucked up. She's still crying. She's hurt. I think that might be the most realistic cry I heard in the movie. Yeah, nah, she really crying. She could knock her fucking head off her body, though. Like, think she the MC. She ate that fucking cake. My man was trying his best to get to the hospital. I'm trying to put myself in Peter's shoes. How do you tell your folks, though? About what happened? Like, when he came in the crib. I don't know, mm -hmm. but going in the room, I don't think that's the play. What you mean? You don't know what you would do. I mean, it was devastating. It's not like he didn't like his sister. They weren't. Like, her head was off her body. My man picked her up and was running, running outside, trying to get her to the hospital. It's another name. Zaza? Z Zaza. Z -A -B Zabaz? I think that one was Z-A-Z-A-S. Z-A-S. That's how I was like looking at her. Um, It must be that lady in that motherfucking treehouse. Black well, Charlene was actually in that fucking pigeon that head. Pigeon head getting cut. That she cut off and her head came off. That's a good know. observation right there. Oh, that's where she's sleeping. She might read that book and it might be a way to bring her daughter back that she's gonna try and do. You gonna summon the demon. Oh my god. My god, dude, I know. Like every 10 seconds for real. <laughs> they don't even care, like, bro. It's not it's your man. No cats, I'm saying. <laughs> I'm it's like him smoking gonna bring him more anxiety. I'm picking up my princess from the airport. Who's his girlfriend? I'm too observant not to notice him doing this if I'm smoking. I can't even throw this guy. I think. Just hold my hand. Hold on. I think that boy just needed to cry. Well, he did that allergic reaction that his sister got. It's his mom in the car. Yeah, with a family like this, they don't talk about shit. So it's like everybody just going through it individually instead of like as a whole. The grief meeting again. Yeah, but to say she would have walked in there with another story. That shit crazy. She stopped him. Sorry, I just, I recognize you from a few months ago. Oh, God, I feel very silly. I'm Joan. I, I, are you doing better? After your mother? What? No, no, that's not. You might as well just go in now. My son died. How old was yours? 13. My son and my grandson drowned four months ago. Damn. If you need someone to talk to, Go ahead, love doing that. Yeah, like, <laughs> stop looking at my paper. Thank you, really. Love you, Joan, man. Bye-bye. There's always something with somebody, sir. So. He was a little, little weird. Why is she uh, saying a story? But I'm going to just keep my eyes on her. Nah, it was just the way she was moving. It was like she was acting. I'll be right back. No, you won't. You're taking the blanket. I can't sleep. Freezing it there. The same thing he was saying to the daughter. Hey, my Is man. that okay? It gets too cold. Come back in. Just need to sleep. My man hurting right now too, though. Yeah, something. But then again, it's like that could have both been up there, man. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody trying to do what's what's best for them in that situation. You heard that? Oh my God, boy. Come on now. Swerving the camera, that quick camera, man. Damn. At that point, you got to get up. That's how you wake up. Stand, stand on your bed, run off, and kick whatever that's in, that's in the corner. Message from the other side. Hey, yo. She spilled the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, Annie, you came. It's a, it's a little earlier than we said. Oh, you're perfect. Come in. Yeah, my mother used to embroider once just like that. Did she really? Please come in. 
Is that her mom? She must have been in her ritual group. Covered in black blood, like tar. And her head wasn't there, so I couldn't see her face. But they were her clothes. And her hands. And her little fingernails. I can say you want one. I'm trying to see if she got that necklace on. How was your relationship with your son? It was something in that coffee? She drawn drawing that? Yo. Why is she drawing that? Jesus Christ, Danny. You're not planning on letting him see that, are you? No. Peter. How do you think he's gonna feel when he sees that? What? It's not about him. Oh no? No, it's a neutral view of the accident. Nah, she's crazy for that. A neutral view of the accident. Are you, uh, are you coming down to dinner? I'm making dinner. No, I made the dinner. I came to get you. Come, stay, whatever you want. I don't really give a shit. Nah, that was a little creepy just now. Somebody gotta break the ice. This is really good, Dad. Thanks, buddy. You about to crash out. I don't want to say anything. I've tried saying okay things. so try again release yourself oh release you you mean yeah fine release me just say it just fucking say it. don't you swear at me you little shit don't you ever raise your voice at me i am your mother i ain't gonna lie i'm crashing out what about you mom better come back to that story she didn't want to go to the party i knew he was gonna say that i was like if you bring that up that's Watch crazy all right we're stopping this right now is that I said, stop right now. Fine. Fine. I feel the dad, but I think I let that shit out. What a bro, now they really about to, uh, about to get bad. She definitely forced a party on her, but damn, wasn't it? They let that scene go for a while. Just now? Yeah, we were supposed to see something. I know, I know there's something. She got to have some type of condition because she got some these sticky notes all over the place to remember stuff. Well, it could just be affirmations. Uh... I feel you, but all her family yeah. got mental illnesses. Something happened, Annie, and I feel completely turned around. Some spiritual shit. Yeah, she, she's seen her sons or something. I met a spiritual I medium. I know what you're thinking. I approached the medium afterwards, and I, I asked her about my son and my grandson, and she came to my apartment. She ended up performing. She conjured my grandson. Hell no. Nah. What are you doing right now? I'm just here shopping. Do you want to come over? Oh, Annie, please. Please, Annie, I really think you should. It would be everything if you came. Hell no. no. Nigga, hell no. Nah. They they grieving though, so I understand it was hell no. Nah. I know too much about shit like this. Hell no. Nah. She about the dark and shit. She don't know what she doing though. I'm she about to conjure up a nigga named Randy that hit everybody. But I'm not gonna add pressure. You do the same. Well, I can't see if I see something. Louis, are you here? It's Grandma. Louis, if you are here with us, please just try and slide the glass. You don't know who you talking to. How many Louis there is? Louis. Louis Vuitton. If you're here. Oh! Hi, Louis. How did you do that? I'm going to ask you some questions. If the answer is yes, slide the glass to the right. If it's no. I rebuke. You understand? Louis, are you okay? Are you in pain? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, he's still moving that John. What's that symbol on the desk? On the table. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. I'm sorry, can we stop? What? I'm sorry, please. I... Oh, she ain't closed off the fucking portal. She's cooked. If you want to try this on your own, first light the candle. Then choose an item that belonged to your daughter. Mine was the chalkboard. That's my link. Read this out loud. I don't know what language it is. The medium had me read it first. Hey, bro, you probably know. lie. Come on, bro. That's usually the language they use to communicate with them. Every member needs to be in the house. Your son, everyone. Very important. You didn't kill her, Annie. Don't you see that? What's her face? That's a mirror. 
She isn't gone. Bro, that shit was is follow her, bro. And it's just fucking copying whatever. Whatever her daughter, whatever she yeah, really did. Yeah, bro. To convince you to allow it in your home. Yeah, bro. And that's over after that. She's gonna go in the treehouse and do it. Those are the ants that was on her. Yeah. That's her room. She's just seeing it because it's not on her bed no more. She's definitely just seeing this. That's on Peter? Yeah. What are you doing? She's sleepwalking again. What's going on? You were sleepwalking. Yo, imagine waking up with your mom with her mouth Is open like that. Is Charlie here? Why are you scared of me? What? I never wanted to be your mother. What? Why? I was scared. I didn't feel like a mother. But she pressured me. Then why did you have me? It wasn't my fault. I tried to stop it. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. However I could, I did everything they told me not to do, but it didn't work. I'm happy it didn't work. You tried to kill me. Stop saying it. You tried to kill me. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, so what if she didn't? What if she really tried to kill him, though? She ended up doing that candle shit. Yeah. Cause if she really felt like that, what if her body just? Peter, sweetheart, wake up. What? It's okay, it's me. It's four in the. One forty-five in the morning. Steve, come on, let's go. Hey, yo, Peter, what you staring at for like that, G? <laughs> Dude, what? Fresh out of sleep. She made that. Yeah, you see all those houses, houses on, on top the... of. What the fuck? What? That light is on in the crib. Come on, I'm seeing everything. It's freezing in here. There's some demons. I'm gonna close the window. No, no, we can't change anything. I don't want to mess it up. My friend Joan taught me how to do this. We need our palms on the table and our fingers to touch. Please. What are we doing here, Annie? Please, you'll see. No, oh, no, man. I... I need you both to concentrate. Think about Charlie, if you can. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sweetheart, sorry. please, please. I tried this 20 minutes ago and it worked. I will what not be worked? bringing you down here if it didn't. I'm a medium, okay? I, I was seeing apparitions earlier and I just shook them off and I shouldn't have. How the fuck you a medium now? Literally, like, bro, come on. We need to do this as a family. This needs all our energies, okay? Together. Steve, please, I really, really need you to be open to this. Please, please, I promise. Both of you. You're begging a little too much. Yeah. I don't like that. What a bro. Are you itching a little bit? Too much right now. Now, if you're in here, Charlie, I want you to move the glass for us. Wow! Thank you, Charlie. That was so good. I'd like for you to show them what you did earlier. Because she did used to draw all the time. What? No, 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 no. Listen, when I did this earlier, this manifested on the page. I saw it. There is no need to be scared. This is your sister. Can't breathe. Charlie, what's wrong? Oh! She inside of her mom? Why did she just do that? You seen a mom mouth? Yeah, she's inside of the mom. Nigga, that's a random demon. Hello? Mom? 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 I don't like this. Dad, I don't like this. What's happening? Please stop. Why are you scaring me? Make it stop! Make it fucking Daddy. stop! <laughs> <sighs> what the hell? What are you- No, I'm leaving. <laughs> what happened? You hear the dog barking. That boy knows something going yeah. on next door, bro. But how the fuck she draw the scene perfectly like that? Oh no. Lift Toach Pandemonium. I don't know what the fuck. I don't even know why I read them words, but I know what that means. I rebuke. Compared to the fall of 1929, in an era that became known appropriately as the Great. That's the same thing she saw. Yeah, bruh. In 1929. So that lady must be around now. It finally crashed because of the great boom in the economy. So much so that it caused... Oh, the lady that was outside at the car. The federal government has still has problems. Perhaps the federal... 
sorry, I have to go to the bathroom. Bathroom pass. Kids don't even got that no more. They just walk out the room. Peter just called me and he terrified, crying in the halls, convinced he's being threatened by some vengeful spirit. Listen to me, Annie. I have a son to protect. Now hey, don't Steve. talk to me like this. He's my son too. Hang on. Fuck that the smile movie? Do not hang up on me again. I am not sleepwalking anymore. You understand? <sighs> It's gonna be a spear or something. At the tone, please record your voice message. It's, it's gonna be Charlie. Annie, hi. This is Patrick. I was just calling first to see how you're doing. We've all been thinking about you and just. But I need you to give me an update. Yeah. To say first, if you need us to postpone the show or push the date, it's obviously more than okay. And if not, uh, we just wanted to call and see if we can help in any way. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's weeks of work she just now destroyed. I knew it. She probably destroyed every pro uh, project she had in that room. Honey, what's that smell? What the fuck happened to you? I didn't feel like looking at it anymore. You trying so hard. What the fuck? Nah, we gotta leave. Yeah, Take my son and we out. I mean, Steve, <clears throat> I'm not even sleeping in the room with you. He taking Percocet. That nigga. Oh, hey, yeah, that's the same it. thing. The three. She doing it again? She sound like she... Like somebody's drawing something. Mm -hmm. But they're not closing that portal that they opened. She anymore. never did. Well, that candle is not and enough. that's why the the girl Joan was able to just call on Peter because she never closed it. That shit scribbling mad hard in there. It's in her room. But it's drawing without a pen. That shit got free range in the curve. But it's not drawing anything. I rebuke. I rebuke. That's her mom's room? Nah. Bro, that shit is not your sister. Well, not Charlie. I'm screaming. Charlie? No! You hear the dog growling? Oh, the dog is scared. No, I should not. You were bullet on my head! What? No, I wasn't. I just came in. You were screaming. What happened? I saw Charlie in the corner, and then you started trying to pull my head off. Oh. What corner did you see, Charlie? What does she care about? Do not tell Dad what you just said to me. Do not, okay? Because it is not true. I'm the only one who can fix this. That's Steve? Yeah. It's not gonna burn. Oh! That's because it's linked between Yeah, them. it's connected to her. It's just connected to her. It's over. I didn't know uh, that wake up though. I'm a light sleeper. So as soon as she would have walked past me, I would have heard her. Yo, what you doing, Annie? Now she bugging me out. That door's open? Nah, I'm shut. Yo, what's good with her? You should have been one to go talk to John. He did some weird shit. A lot of this shit is not DIY. No cap. You gotta do this shit yourself, my boy. She probably not gonna be there. Oh, she did. That's what I was thinking. The symbol again. Like the symbols in there. He got her the triangle. Piece. No! And that's the shit that, the stuff that, that Charlie, Charlie was, was making. It's gonna be a key underneath that mat. 
That's a triangle in the room with her mom. Her mom's room. Yeah, the portal. It's a portal. And that shit is haunting uh, Peter. Peter! Peter! That's Joan. I expel you! What? Zantony! That's what it said. Zantony. Or she's trying to help him. How is he hearing her? And nobody either else he's is. I, I don't know if she's trying to help him. She said, I expel you. Tough. Is she trying to save him from her? Because remember, she said the mom did private rituals and stuff. That's the same handwriting that shit she was reading. Riches to the conjure. And then remember, Joan says she conjured her grandson, which is a male. She about to see Joan in that zone. That's her when he was younger. Yup. She was a cult leader? Yo. Remember, and remember her, her grandmother was like, well, Charlie said her grandmother wanted her to be a boy. Yeah, she said she would put the, she would never let the mom breastfeed or feed the baby or feed Charlie. Did Joan dig the grandma up? But are they getting paid for that? Because it says something about claims. Somebody damaged a grave site, yeah. She put that body up there, and that's what they were saying. What's that smell? They dug the grandma up, put her upstairs, and then Joan was in their house, and that's how she got the shit from Charlie and the picture of Peter. And then now she about to figure out that they didn't call for bills. They called because the shit was, her body was missing. Yeah. Come on, bro. So they was calling upon a grandma. Everyone feels justified. Epigenia's murder was commanded by the gods. They put the fucking grandma on there, me. bro. And they took her head off? And remember, they cut the pigeon head and Charlie head came off. That's what I'm saying. And then she drew Steve. Steve. My man, Peter, with his head cut off. His She's neck mother break. Driving that man crazy, bro. Peter. Peter, what's wrong? Can you breathe? What the fuck is going on? Help my man, hurry up. Hold up, it's my god, nigga. Boy had to flick it a wrist, you heard? <laughs> boy had that Stephen Curry from the three. That boy That's actually like so drama. That was like But these. now she know, though. Who's about to hit the nae nae? Hey, bro, he slammed his face on that desk hard as hell. Hello? Too much going on. It's the first time he cried. Oh my god. What happened? He gonna leave. He did apparently to himself. Smashed his face oh, into his okay. own desk. Steve, wait, wait. Listen. Take his feet. Please, take his feet. That's why you're going to the gym. No, go ahead, though. In the attic when you were gone, I went up there. And I just, I really need you to go up there and see what I saw. There's a body. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's my mother, I think, but I can't tell because the skin's all black and she's all distended, but the head is gone. 
If it's nothing in there, he's out. That's the last straw. If he open that John flies come out. And then there's more is. Oh, you mean more than your mother's headless body? Of course there is. Oh shit. So she's not lying. I wouldn't even go up there. That's all I needed to see, her. Right? Jesus. Okay, there's, there's more. This is my mother's album. See this? See her? That's her. That's June. And look at that pattern. Did you see up there? This was painted above the body, right? You dug up the grave. It was you, wasn't it? And her mom and then It will take me too. I tried to burn it. I tried, but my arm caught on fire on its own as if I was linked to it because I am linked to it. I understand this now. If we don't destroy this, we have to do this. Please, please, please. Damn, this a lot on my man Steve, bro. Shit a lot on everybody. Please, I I need you to throw it in the fire. Please, I just I can't do it. I can't. I'm just too fucking scared of it. It's gonna be Peter. It's gonna be our son. Okay, I know this. I know. So I just please. I think Steve is wondering, like, is she involved in all that stuff with her grandma, mm -hmm. with the with the mom? Please, what if they burn please. a body upstairs, though? Please, throw it in the fire. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. You are the love of my life. I don't think he believe her right now, though. Oh, God, I love you so much. And I love Peter so much. No, please, just let him throw it in. I think she know that she gonna catch on fire. That's why she. I'm not gonna do this with you anymore. No, no, no. No, it's not helpful for you. You are sick. Someone's gonna kill Steve. I need to call the police. <laughs> no! What? Oh my! Bro, that guy. That's the grandma. I'm doing a. Just people around the Yeah. Crib? But ass nigga? Yeah, bro. The grandma transferred herself into the mom, bro. So she can't die. And they probably and they need to probably get rid of the whole family in order for her to start over. I don't even know the fucking dad is there. Cause like what McCullough was saying, she was so private. She had private whatever rituals and whatever. And all these new faces, she was like, she'll be skeptical, you guys, at the... Dad? At the funeral. But those are the people she was doing them fucking rituals with. And the meetups. You know, his face hurt. So whoever, Joan and... And then in the beginning, the bull smiled at Charlie when she was at the... Yeah. At the grandma in the casket. Stand in the corner up there. Yeah, what the fuck? That's her. Did I see you, motherfucker? Yo! She's flying and crawling through the air? Nah, because I did not see that shit, G. Oh, Dude, my damn, damn twin. I'm not get my feet. <laughs> nah. That shit would have been on my neck if I was Peter. Ah! Stop touch me. This nigga scared of looking around the room and shit. Nah, I'm make sure nothing. She crawled around. I spit like she in Cowboy Bebop. But get real wicked. I mean, it's the only person there. I know he's so scared. You don't know that. Yo, that shit killed the pops, though. Mom? Dad? All them people outside, too. Oh, my. I feel bad for my man Peter, bro. She dressed. Mom, grandma tried to make her a tomboy. And then she said she didn't let her get to P uh, Peter. Hello? But she but did she with Charlie. Charlie. Damn, G. And that's why she was saying, that's why the grandmother was saying she wished she was a boy. Because she was able to be around Charlie and not Peter when he was younger. Now, she was up in the corner of the room, though. Oh, niggas don't turn lights on in the crib no more? So you gotta have that fire on you. <laughs> Now you about to see his dad now. Mm hmm At that point, I'm not even scared no more. I'm just ready to now I gotta start what, beating bro, that. Bro, you'd be so scared you you won't be able to move. Chad. You'd be shaking. Chad. I'm ready to bro. crash out. You'd be shaking to the max, bro. Like, I'm itching to use this switch, twin. Then the head is gone, I think. Why do they keep taking everybody's head? The pigeon? Bro, if the part. dad's head is gone, the grandma's head is gone. She's up in the, in the corner. corner. 
And then he gonna be like, yo, always was you trying to like kill me. That, that's the grandma, bro. Oh, nah, good acting, the snot bubble. I'll be shook. Where, bro? Wait, bro, you wouldn't what a be bro. able to turn around. My shit would be like these. If you're gonna turn around, you gotta do it fast. My man don't gotta switch with him either. What the f? That's the boy that she That's said the was smiling. smiling at the casket. The fuck is funny? Knuckle up. Let's get it on, nigga. The mom is on the other side of him now. Bro, she's moving. Oh! oh shit. She's moving. No. He went upstairs. And they already and the got candles the candles lit. lit. Spider Woman. Mommy? I feel it ain't so your mom, boy. You know you climb the shit. How she doing that? My man Peter got done the worst. The worst way. There's no way he escaping, bro. It's like 50 people outside. Me, though? <laughs> Late, bro. Come on. Bro, I'm going toe to toe with every nigga outside. And that's where the body was. And they moved it. Gonna say try to burn a body, but it's over for that. My man don't even know what's going on right now. Like he don't even know the situation he in. Nah, damn, bro. Nah, he don't even know the body was up to. So she wanted him from the jump, <gasps> bro. And they did cross his eyes out. Yeah. In the picture. You see the candles outside? No, that's inside. Yeah. Get away from the window. You bullshitting, right? What the fuck is that? Is that the body with no head? How the fuck She's is severing she... her own head! No. How the fuck did she get up there? Yo. No. <laughs> no way, bro. Fuck everybody naked, G. Is that the spirit? Yeah, that's what it is. It's going inside of him. <gasps> no way. And it wanted a male. Yo. Oh, what am I watching? They all old. Where the bro? He was getting punched on. Not jumping on no window. Left too much. Ah. Hit one. Show him your strength. Back him down. Charlie went inside of him. On an accident. The dog. I was wondering where the dog was. So. Was that spirit always in Charlie? Whatever she did, she did the seance on the accident when she knocked her head off. Like that started something. Or that was... Charlie was clicking before that though. So I'm wondering if she always, since she was born, had the spirit in her because the grandma was with her. Maybe. Some shit. What in the fuck is going on? And Charlie always slept in that treehouse. Yeah, bro. So def this probably is definitely the spirit. So where the fuck the yeah, mom at? What type of freaky shit y'all on out here, G? It's gonna be Joan in there. Yeah, our butte. That's oh. their head. Huh? That's what's my call his head. The grandma. No, on um, Charlie. <gasps> That's the mom. That's the That's grandma. The this shit is weird as fuck. And they all smiling. I rebuke. That's Joan. I remember, uh, Charlie drew that crown on the bird. Oh, shit. 
queen. Yo. Good, that's the grandma's head on that shit. That's not Charlie head. Queen Lay. Rebuke it all. It's all right, Charlie. Told you, bro. You're all right now. You are Paimon, one of the eight kings of hell. I rebuke it. We have looked to the northwest and called you in. We've corrected your first female body and mm. give you now this healthy male host. Bro, I rebuke it. Bring us honor. Wealth and good familiars bind all men to our will as we have bound ourselves for now and ever. Bro, I'm trying to hear this. Hell payment! Fuck me on my ear. That shit on my shit, G. Hell payment! No, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. I don't fuck none of that shit, G. I swear to me. All right, y'all, that was the end of Hereditary. This movie was weird as shit, G. Like the plot within it, though. It was really interesting, and I know um, there was a lot of things that we didn't understand throughout it in certain aspects, but I think we followed along pretty well for um, watching this through for, uh, for the first time with no prior knowledge on what, you know, this movie was about. It's crazy that... You know, you can have people in your life and they can be so secretive and you don't know what they really got going on. That was the fact for Annie, which is sad because I think at the end of the day, she just wanted to, you know, be within this happy family and create an environment for her kids that was, you know, safe. And we kind of got that explanation from her when she talked about not having her mother around for um peter's birth and for you know certain duration of his upbringing but then with her getting sick or whatever you know they brought her back around and that's when she was able to create this relationship with charlie and start this basically grooming to her to be a part of whatever she was it was small little things throughout the fam that you really had to connect and pay attention to with like certain people being involved. That's why like during that scene when she was doing that little seance thing with Annie, I was trying to see what kind of necklace she had on because she was wearing a necklace, but I couldn't see it. And I was like, uh, I didn't want to make the assumption that just because she was wearing a necklace, she was with the the mom in some sort of fashion and did a really good job at manipulating Annie into thinking that she was trying to help her. W Film, Cole, did a great job of recommend, uh, recommending this. W Recommendation, I get this probably like an 8.5 or an 8 out of 10. And I know there's a lot of things that we still don't know about within the film. So from like the beginning, it makes sense. Like I was saying, the it seemed like Charlie was a little like isolated from the family, from what we had initially saw. That's what I got from watching the beginning of the movie. Um, everybody was kind of on their own thing, but to see Charlie's actual like death and how that played out, it's crazy because like, not looking back on it, she cut the head off of the pigeon and then that ended up, her head ended up coming off, which I don't know if it's some connection towards that, but that's just like what I got from it. And then the same orb like thing is the same shit that happened with Peter. And it makes sense because the whole time the they were trying to get Charlie into Peter. And like I initially, I didn't think they were trying to put Charlie into Peter, but whenever the mom opened the book and they said he needed a healthy male host is what they were looking for. I knew it was with Peter because like he saw the spirit that was smiling at him and like all this random shit was happening to to him i don't know if like i was saying in the beginning the spirit was already in charlie from the beginning and then like at when she died that process kind of got sped up because of that because there's no way that the mom and them didn't know that that triangle was in the crib so like i was saying when they were leaving or i don't know if it was annie like they were saying somebody put the grandma in that crib obviously because the grave was dug up so I don't know if it was Joan, but I'm thinking it was Joan because she had 
like items from Charlie in her crib whenever uh, they showed the scene when she went back to her house and they had like the whole ritual thing set up that she was making when she had the pigeon head on the table and then she had heads um, and stuff on the table yeah too. and then she had like that little it was not, not the piece she was doing with the she had it when the grandma died she was messing with it in the like a little yeah makeshift she, yeah she was messing made. with it at the funeral and then the boy was smiling at charlie at the funeral when she went up to the grandma and then charlie ended up seeing that lady that touched her lip you know what i mean um i don't know what the fuck that shit was that the lady joan was saying to peter that scene she said i expel you i don't know if that was her trying to like get rid of his spirit is what she was trying to expel um but like shit kind of just like sped up after she said that um, for the whole thing with the joan coming up to the the meeting the grief meeting so what I'm putting together is she said she hasn't she saw her with her mom. She was there when her mom passed away. So she obviously knew her mom passed and she might have been following her. And when she went to the AA meeting, acting like like just kind of keeping tabs on her. Then when she found out Charlie died, she went to the same meeting, probably assuming that the mom, Annie, would show up there at some point. And then when she saw her, that's why she ran out and stopped, and stopped her and did that to see how she was doing. And then once she told her that her daughter died, which was Charlie, that's mm -hmm. when she kind of started to get more involved to push for her taking over Peter's spirit. Yeah. Also with that scene, I feel like for Charlie, whenever she went into Peter, she wasn't as in shock. One, because she was around the grandma and she's like she said, she said, who's going to take care of me when you die? And she was like, you'll have Peter, you'll have your dad, but they were both dead. So in that scene, I feel like she wasn't as in, sh I don't know how she wasn't in shock with the whole thing, but then it's also probably the information she was being fed from the grandma. Like if yeah. the mom, grandma was feeding her, you don't know what she was doing in that time. Um, like she had to know about the shit cause she clipped her head off the pigeon. Yeah. Like the grandma had to be telling her shit. Like there's no way she knew to do that. And but then, you know, kids like the like kids do weird shit like that. But it was like she put it in her pocket and like I don't know. I was just like, or she off. did. She the grandma just groomed her and like that's something that she probably thought was okay, so she did it. Like, cause before I, she had heads of things like drawn and shit. But she like the makeshift thing. Like she was gonna put the head of the pigeon on like a makeshift thing. Yeah, and it had so like I the guess, arm and shit. Yeah, it's I guess. kind of like the same thing that happened with that scene. So I don't know if that was a fucking grandma head on that shit or Charlie's head. It was Charlie, that's why they said her name. That was her That makes head. sense that it was Charlie's head and then they put the crown on it and then they took the crown off once she they noticed that it was in, she was in Peter. I review all that shit. Um, but it's like fucked up because like no matter what, like Andy blamed herself for certain shit, but no matter what, shit was gonna play out that way anyway, Loki, for me. She knew her mom was weird, at least though. She tried to keep her away. But still, but... the shit that surprised me the most was fucking Steve, Steve's death, bro. Like, went through the shit and I knew it was gonna be something like that while she was telling him to do that. But then again, if she would have killed Damn, that's crazy. Like now that I think about when she was sleepwalking and she set all three of them on fire, if she would have killed them, that should have ended right there. With the paint thinner when she yeah. was sleep walking. If she would have killed them, and that's crazy that they used Charlie against the mom and them in a certain way. Then they put Charlie inside of Peter and then the mom ended up dying. So it's like they all died anyway. Yeah. Well obviously the mom wasn't involved in it. Like she knew her mom was weird and was trying to stay stay away from her. But she weaseled her way back into the family. She probably was faking with all dimension and shit. No, she probably really did have it, but... Bro, when she was... That picture they had of her when she was holding all... Like, when they was dropping that stuff on her, she was smiling. And she didn't look that much younger than when she passed away. I don't know. That shit was a good-ass movie, though. I ain't gonna lie. That shit had me scared. And, like, this one of the movies where, like, a lot of movies that be scary, they be having hella jump scares. This didn't really have that many jump scares. It was just, like, the plot itself. That shit was weird. Was Hurt what was me. scary. But if you enjoyed that reaction, make sure you like the video. Comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on it. Subscribe on the bell. Comment so you know if I can drop these videos. Patreon, we appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for love and support. Shout out to Cole again for recommending this movie. What is Cole? Three for three. Four for four. Somewhere around there, man. Boy, yeah, I love y'all. appreciate y'all on both platforms. YouTube and Patreon. Y'all mean a lot to us, man. We come and do it without y'all but until the next video the kids reacted